drawing things. Wits I am. Hey there, drawing pals. Welcome back. Um, today we're gonna do a very special episode, and it's uh, it's Godzilla monsters. So um, yeah. Uh, today, uh, this this time, it's uh, it's gonna be gonna take take one or maybe more depending on how long I take on the first one. Godzilla monsters, and I'm just gonna um, whoa, that's not correct. Just gonna uh draw it. Think what I draw now. This this is Ebera. It, I don't really know how to say Eb. I. I Ebera, I don't remember how to spell it, but um, I know a lot of Godzilla monsters. I was really into them when I was uh, younger, so I have a lot of them committed to memory. I like how they look, so I'm gonna have to dig deep for this list, and uh, I'm just gonna start out with the ba basic little little head here. Um, hmm. Trying to think, cause this this just kind of looks like a stupid Godzilla, or just like a normal lizardish thing. So I gotta figure out how to make it special, cause all Godzilla monsters were very special. They were all dudes in suits, pretty obviously, but they were they were special. Um, trying to think. So the main categories of things that Godzilla fought were bugs. Robots, and, uh, I, I guess lizards. Um, sometimes, sometimes it would be a combination of those things. So maybe that's what this guy is. Maybe he's just, like, like, part bug, part robot, part lizard. He was, he was the ultimate Godzilla monster. I mean, I guess he fought King Kong, too. But uh, no one really cares about that. Um, but yeah, this is, I, yeah, I think it, it's coming back to me now. He was the ultimate Godzilla monster, and, uh, he just beat Godzilla every time, because he was, he was too powerful, and it wasn't, it wasn't interesting, so they just stopped using him, and, uh, used, used other assorted monsters. So this is where the, the robot piece comes in. Um, trying to think. How did they beat Godzilla in the original movie? I don't remember. <laughs> Me, the expert Godzilla fan. I should, I should remember this. Um, I had something I was going to talk about. Oh yeah, Meg Megalon fan. He's cool. He's, um, he's, he's who got me into Godzilla as a young child and we've been friends for a long time and as you can see from the name he he enjoys a good zilling that's the term for watching a Godzilla movie it's called a zilling a lot of people don't know that a lot of fake fans don't know that um but yeah now you know it now you can impress impress all your friends I'm trying to think See, part of the thing, many of the Godzilla monsters didn't have cannon arms, which is what I was going to give him. They had blades, because cannons were, uh, th th it's hard to do in rubber suit. So maybe I'll just give him just a big old, big old butter knife here. Yeah, that, yeah, this, this, this looks right. Let me just, just like kind of, kind of weld it on here. Just bolt it on. This was made haphazardly by some aliens or something. That's there's also there's three categories of uh, of reasons why Godzilla fights the monsters. Either they're old ancient gods from years past, they were sent by the government, or they were sent by aliens. That's it. Those are the only reasons. That's that's it. Original Godzilla like. All the other Godzilla movies were kind of not really what the original one was about, in my opinion. Because, like, the original one was like, whoa, look what the nuclear radiation has done. And, like, it's this horrible thing. 
And all the other ones were just like, yeah, oh, and now the monster is beating up some other monsters. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it, but it just sends a different message, you know? And like, Shin Godzilla, which is the new thing that came out, it's, uh, it, it kind of gets back to the original message, and it's like, Godzilla is, instead of, like, being an ancient dinosaur, he's this horrible thing created by nuclear waste, and he's destroying the thing, the government doesn't know how to stop him. That's what the original one was all about. Um, what else do I do? Oh, I should give it some gross insect legs. Just like me. Yeah, there we go. There, that's... I don't know what to do past its body. Oh, I gotta give it another robot. I gotta give it, like, a robot fist. Um. Oh, it, it'll just be a boxing glove. Because I, I don't want to draw... It's a robot boxing glove. Because I don't, I don't want to draw all the other thing. All the other, um... Uh... I'm just gonna put it on the spring. All the other, um... Uh, complexities of a hand... Even if it's just a robot hand, and I can just make it a square. Um, what else? What else can I do? What else? I I think I feel like he needs he needs just a few more spikes. Just get a little spike here up in there. Get some Super Saiyan hair going. That's what Godzilla was all about. Super Saiyan hair. Yeah. Forget what I what I like just said about uh the destruction and how horrible uh the nuclear radiation can be. It's all about Super Saiyan hair. Um, I misspoke. They're easy. They're easy to mix up. Uh, all right. That looks. Well, it looks. Um, just gonna give him some more bug legs here. I don't know what to do with this. Um, I might not do two on this because I've I've spent a while on this one already. Oh, and uh, I'll, 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 like, pinch it off here and give him another, another segment, like a, like a bug. He will still have a lizard tail, of course, and it can regenerate. All of the monsters Godzilla faced all had their own kind of unique powers, like Jet Jaguar could grow and shrink, and, uh, well, Anguirus didn't really have anything going for him. Um, he was, like, Godzilla's pal that he teamed up with. But he was, like, like the stupid sidekick that no one really likes, and he doesn't really have any good powers. I mean, I liked him, because he looked like an Ankylosaurus, and that was my favorite dinosaur. But, um, he was, looking back on it, he was, he might have been the worst character and he, uh, he didn't really have any cool powers. Mothra could, like, shed its wings as a final attack, which never seemed like a good strategy to me, because you do have wings. You can, like, fly away and then get some help and come back. I, uh, I don't really know what Mothra's strategy was in those movies, but hey, it's cool. There's, like, there's so many Godzilla monsters. I don't, there's probably, like, I'm just naming... The common ones this is probably a bunch more that I can do this on. I have, I'm having like vivid uh, remembrance of some crab monster that Godzilla fought or was in one of the movies. I don't know if he fought him, uh, but I don't remember what it was called. Pretty sure it was a crab. And then what was that lizard one? This might just turn into me listing all the Godzilla mo monsters I know of, which, I mean, I'd like that. Uh, that's what I do every night when I'm going to sleep. I don't actually sleep. I just, uh, just list Godzilla monsters. Oh, I'm gonna give him, like, a lizard underbelly that continues onto the bug tail. This is, this might be the worst thing I've ever drawn. How can I give him more ro- oh, I'll give him, like... I'll give him, like, a robot, like, kind of patch here that's just on the back end. It's just hanging out. Just chilling. And then, yes, his tail's just going to be, like, gonna, gonna have some robot parts, just... 
There. Yeah. There we go. I already forgot what this guy's name was supposed to be. But it is... Well, it's here. And we can all appreciate that. Um... Alright, I'm almost finishing up. I ran out of things to talk about. Uh, that, that looks... This, this looks pretty good. I think I embodied the spirit. I don't remember what this Godzilla looks, monster looks like, but I think... I think I just took the spirit of all Godzilla monsters and kind of amalgamated it into this horrible, horrible creation here. I was gonna add something. Oh, right, right. I gotta... Gotta add, um, like, robot spikes, like, uh, Mechagodzilla has with, they're just, they're just normal Godzilla spikes, but they're squares. Um, oh, and then I was gonna give him little, little cannons here, that just, there. You can just, just imagine seeing this thing romping down the streets of Tokyo, coming, coming for Godzilla. There he is. I forgot his name. Uh, put it, uh, I'll figure it in a second. Uh, put its picture up right now. Oh man, it, it was ever a. Uh, are you serious? I was. I was literally talking about the crab monster, and this. It was the crab monster. Oh man, now I'm upset. I. I had it right there. It was my subconscious. Please subscribe if you want or not. If you don't, please do it anyway.